Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. <clears throat> and I have no idea how I'm going to show you this. What this is, is a cross stitch from Tamu. I think you call it Timu. It's big. It's big. What can I tell you about it? <clears throat> I don't have a thumbnail. I started on the bottom. Looks pitiful. And then, then I decided to wax the thread. Minor improvement. This is what it looks like. No thumbnail. Um, to me, this is useless. It is too small. Way too small. You see? I, I would uh, rather not make a, um, a final decision about this yet. Now, I took out a frame that was thrown on the side. Now, this is a complete mess. Now, over here, I started, um, I waxed the thread and put it in a frame. Not the thread, the cross stitch. And um, it seemed to improve the way the stitches look. So since the quality of the threads, I have these clips from Fansel that's holding, holding the, um, the frame. I have come to the conclusion you can never have too many frames. It is cute, of course. If it wasn't, I would not have bought it. This is from Timu. We call it Tamu. Um, we do have a new one here in Hungary. And I don't know which one this came from. They all come from China. Oops, I made a loop. We don't want a loop. So, um, this is an 11 count Ada. It's, um, it's, uh, it's covered. It doesn't say how big it is. This is a pattern that you're supposed to follow. Impossible. Even with a magnifying glass. Well, that's the only picture that they showed here. Okay, camera. I know. Life is hard. So it is a lovely picture. There are 24 colors. Um, the uh, threads come on this... Um, which I'm going to put on floss drops. They, they come on this thread drop, whatever they're supposed to be, but you know, it's the kind that slip, so it will definitely, although this is, seems to be a little um, stronger, however, this will rip. So I would definitely have to move them over to floss drops or thread drops. <coughs> I also got bobbins. Um, in a box that I will later on um, 
this is a box for the bobbin and it comes complete this is an extra thread I ordered already it comes complete with these bobbins that you wind I'm gonna use these for um, the leftover threads now let's get back to our Timu cross stitch I would say that um, the way the stitch looks over here is the one where I wax and I put it in a frame. It's an improvement. Look at the mess over here. Um, I tried stitching in hand. This is an 11 count, but it seems to me almost like a 14 count. Um, if the floss would be better quality, actually, I think um, we might be able to um, do it with two strands. But it seems to me the floss is, it is what we pay for. I do love it. It's huge. 56 by 40 something. I don't know because it's underneath the corner over there and I can't move it because it's, it's a, attached right now to my desk with these <clears throat> these clippers right there these things and I actually do love them they um they fit you can clip any frame that you have in between these two and they are very strong and tight well this frame it's the one that we glued together because it kept on falling apart. So I really can't do much of it because there's a thing over here in the middle. Um, it's the best I can do with it. I don't like the way my stitches look. I am doing it correctly. Now this needle is a dream. Love it. The floss goes through very nicely, very easily. However, before I wax it, I had a lot of snarls and, and what have you. And I do get rat tail um, even after waxing it. So, I would hold back on my final opinion. It seems rather easy because there are blocks. Um, at this point, I don't see as many um, confetti. We will see as we go along. Seriously, I would even say this is a 14 count. I'm just too lazy to frog this corner over here. So I have no problem as far as trying to stitch it. However, the stitches look messy. Okay, I'm no professional by any means. I'm very new to cross stitching and right now my hand is bumping um, okay gave it a little little adjustment so it's very easy to stitch like I said um, the floss goes through the canvas very easily the canvas is stiff. 
But seriously, for 11 count, I would say 14 count, but it says on it 11 count. It's a bunch of jars, and uh, let's see, what's on the jar? It's flower. I think somewhere there's a little bird. Yeah, right up there. So it's cute. I thought um, this will look cute in the kitchen. It seems like a kitchen -y, um cross stitch. I have seen other cross stitchers get um, cross stitch. This is a, yeah, well, of course, it's a printed. Oh, and I got my Ada, gridded Ada, 14 count Ada, um, that I'm going to use to learn counted cross stitch. So put that in a comment section. Have you bought cross stitch from Timu? Let's give it the English name. So far, I have no problem with the company. Um, I bought some storage units, um, storage for the beads. I broke two needles trying to sew the beaded cross stitch. <coughs> yeah, I know. I can see you laughing. Well, they're such thin needles. I mean, you know, my light pad is in the way there. Excuse me, I'm trying to move you. You can see. So I can see nice clear printing on here. Um, that's no problem. Well, this is ridiculous, totally. I mean, can you make anything out in that? Probably you could over the camera. It looks bigger than it does in real life. But even the ledger is so small. What I'm going to do is um, take a picture of it, enlarge it, and print it out. Because I can't make head or tail out of that. So it's very easy stitching. Um, it could be because the yarn is so thin. So I don't think that uh, two strands would work. Um, I separated the yarn, I flattened it out, I straightened it out, I waxed it. Um, this is what I mean that I am not going to give a final opinion. I'm a diehard optimist. Now over here, these new stitches that I done with the, the wax thread and in the frame, they seem to look 100% better than this mess that I started with. I know, I know, I know, I know what you're going to say. It's going to look better once it's washed and ironed. Other than that, it's fun stitching, and I love that it's colorful. You know, I've been stitching so much white and then a dark color that looking forward to some colors. And I do think that the colors are beautiful. The yarn. And the yarn seems nice and soft. I don't know, there's one strand of pink or whatever. Yeah, I, I don't like these uh, straps. And there's a, a hot pink. Yeah. So it's definitely more colorful. Have you seen my needle? I don't have a needle mine around here. Because, because I have so many whips. Yep. I have a stash and I have whips. I don't have anything finished at the moment. 
I started the monochrome. I'm going to make a video about that tomorrow. No problem with that. That's a 14 count, and this definitely feels like a 14 count. But it's stamped down there, 11 count, use three strands. And if all of the flosses are like this color, definitely you would need the three strands, in my opinion. Now these look a little bit better um, than what I started with. I know they're not perfect. But I did see one of the ladies get the exact, um, the same cross stitch pattern from Timu. And I thought, oh, well, I'm getting an order, order anyway. Let's give it a try. So definitely fun stitching, no problem. I'm beginning to feel a little better about it because these stitches that I'm doing, that I, since I put it in a frame and since I waxed it, um, wax the floss, not the frame, definitely made a difference. And this is an extra frame so far. Pretty soon I'm getting to the point that um, when I order a new cross stitch, I would have to order a frame with it and I got the hiccups, excuse me. Either I start coughing, sneezing, or the sirens go off. Oh, the joys. Very easy stitching. Well, I did order needles with the, um, whoop, just lost my floss. Um, I did order needles, but they were not included, and I had to pay duty because it's Ada came from the UK, although I'm in Europe. Because what I ordered from the Hungarian store, I thought was a stamped cross stitch, and um, it is a counted one, which is okay since, you know, it's about time I learned how to do it. I looked at all the videos. Um, I know what I did wrong. Actually, what I have to do is concentrate, go nice and slow, and mark off the stitches I already made. Okay, now I'm feeling much better because this looks good. This looks, yuck. This looks good. I mean, good for me, you know. Still not perfect. Heck of a lot better than what I started with. I'm going to wash it and iron it and it's going to look perfect. Actually, there's something to that saying because, you know, I already have four little ones. You know, the three babies seasonal ones. I have one more to do of that. And um, why did I start in the middle of the row? Do you know? Well, I don't either. And they did look a heck of a lot better after I washed and ironed it. So I tend to agree with that premise and it's a stupid place to start, but anyway. I wonder what that, uh, what this next color is above this green one. It's a nice purple over here. Let's take a look what color that will be. I mean, I need a microscope. No, I don't know. 932? Well, over here, this purple is 932. Over here, it's gray. Nine, three, two. Yeah, 
it would be something like that because if I look on a picture over here, sort of a gray over here, well, then we're not going to do that. I want to do colors. Possibly the flower, which is an orange color. Yeah. I can't see it. 3607. Yeah, possibly I will go with a flower. Um, just because I, I have <clears throat> a need for color. Okay, I have calmed down. I think this is going to work. Well, I think with a more experienced uh, cross-stitcher, even stitching in hand will work probably a lot faster than the way I'm doing now. But for me, I can see the difference. Now, over here, these look fine. This, if it bothers me too much, I might frog it. Just because I have this beautiful thing, I think, finger magicker, you know, and I can use it. If you're going to frog, you might as well do it with something beautiful. Yeah. So it's fun to stitch. We have a, um, you know, a lone square here and there, no biggie. Nice blocks of color. Like I said, the needle and the floss goes through very smoothly. So I don't have to struggle with it. Okay. Well, so far I would give it a C. But this actually could go to a B minus. I see what I mean, the stitches look ugly. I'm going to go back and look at the video of uh, I do apologize, I forgot her name. The one that was stitching the same, um, same canvas. Okay, now that coloring is off. And my knuckles are hitting this clamp and it's a very sturdy clamp. You thought it was funny when I broke the needle, when I was doing um, the um, beaded cross stitch? I didn't think it was funny because it went in my, in my finger and I was like, ouch. Well, I do think the white thread works fine um, for the beaded cross stitch. This is what was keeping me back from even trying because the invisible thread, I couldn't see. And then I had to kit up the beads. It wasn't enough just to mark it um, because the first... Um, grapes or whatever I made, I use all the wrong colors. There is no instructions, no, no pattern, no, no nothing. So perhaps the same thing is true with the beaded one that was true with the counted one that I just got a difficult. Perhaps there are better um, kits available. I really have not uh, had the opportunity to 
Now we can see the difference. See between the wax and the frame and the one I stitch by hand and unwax. This is why I like to leave my, um, as long as I'm, I'm learning, I like to leave my mistakes in unless they totally drive me crazy that I rip them out. Um, for the very simple reason that um, I can see how much I have improved. Or if I try a different way of doing it to see if it works. And it looks like this solution that I got because I got angry at the way it looked. Um, I think this will work just fine. And I almost used up this color thread. So I think I can reward myself and stitch the flower just so I have some color. I can't I can't find a hole here. Got it. See again the end. Yeah I had to rip it out because um Okay, that's a different color over there, but the coloring is off. So we will just leave it there. I have learned how to do um, the confetti ones, you know, where you have like one square and then a different color. Um, I have learned a couple of ways of starting and ending. I'm still learning. Well, I don't know how much you can see, but I can see right here the difference between that one and the one that's waxing in the frame. Okay, this is going to work. That's actually very relaxing. Okay, I'm going to try and grab that onesie over there. Yeah, well, maybe I got spoiled by having good quality floss for all the other ones I was doing. But this is okay. It's fine. It will look perfect once it's washed and ironed. I don't think so, but... Definitely, when I ordered it, I had the kitchen in mind. You know, it does look like, you know, the old-fashioned kitchen where you had the things stored in mason jars. The mason jars with flowers and a bird. And I'm going to try and find a thumbnail that's actually visible somewhere. Yeah, I can really see the difference. I don't know how well this hysterical camera will pick it up. But I can definitely see the difference. And then I want to continue stitching with my um, little girl in a bonnet. Actually, she looks, reminds me of a prairie girl. You know, um, oh, not homesteaders. You know what I'm trying to say. They went in a covered wagon. Like in a little house on a prairie. You know, they were dressed like that. No, I don't think. Mm, yeah. Little house on a prairie. Yeah. I think if I want to place it time-wise... I would put it in that uh, that era. 
you know, with the calico dresses and the patchwork. Because there wasn't that much money to buy new stuff, so you made do with what you got. And of course, the little girls wore the bonnets to um, protect them from the sun. Actually, I think it would also help keep their hair a little bit cleaner. I mean, in the old days, you know, they wore hats and bonnets and Remember our grandmothers, even our mothers, you know, for Easter, getting the Easter dress and the hat, the big thing. Come on. You want to move over because my knuckles are hitting this clamp. So we use up one strand of floss. First part, I was having a nervous breakdown. Now I'm rather enjoying the easy sewing. Oh, would I buy it again? Yeah. Knowing what to expect. Now this is only one that I got from there, so just from one item, I don't think that you can um, come to a conclusion about a store. I know even with diamond painting, I gave them six months to straighten out their act. Most of the time they did. Just have to be polite and nicely tell them that, um, you know, if you want customers to buy from you, you need to improve on this and that. My needle really is not sharp enough to to do the tiny stitch. Okay, well I think you can see the difference. Yeah. Waxed, put in a frame, it will work. Since I don't have a needle minder, I'm going to have to stick the, ne the needle here somewhere. Yeah, I need to get more needle minders. So thank you very much for spending time with me this Monday evening. Stay safe, stay healthy, be happy. So this was a cross stitch pattern from Timu. It is possibilities. Goodbye for now. Mwah.